Hank Williams Jr., as we uh, know, uh, is uh, lost his uh, gig with ESPN. He no longer will be. They'll no longer be playing all my rowdy friends at the beginning of Monday Night Football. And Hank Williams, his his apologies are a joke. It's ridiculous because he suggested that the Obama uh, Boehner golf pairing was like Hitler and Netanyahu. Obama. He thought that this, in the astute political analysis of Hank Williams Jr., he thought that golf game was the worst political mistake ever. One of the worst political mistakes ever. Unclear why, why Fox and Friends had him on, who knows now. But so what Hank, the hell is he doing on The View? So now, right, so what Hank Williams Jr. has maintained now, he went on The View and he is arguing that, no, no, ESPN didn't drop him, didn't drop his song, he said ESPN can't use the song. Uh huh. Preposterous. Preposterous, but he's given it a try. So he goes on The View, right? And first though, he's got a song that JR has clipped up for us um, that sort of mixes in uh, the outrage of having ESPN part ways with him and the disservice done to him by, you think it would be his friends at, uh, at Fox and Friends. Here's a little bit of the latest ditty uh, from Hank Williams Jr. And I wanna warn you, it's the worst song of all time. So Fox and Friends wanna put me down. Ask for my opinion, then twist it all around. Supposed to be talking about my father's new CD. Well, two can play that gotcha game. Just wait and see. Don't tread on me, this country. Yeah, you can keep Fox and Friends and ESPN out of your homes, too. Because Bo Cephas and all his rowdy friends and his song is out of there. Bo Cephas and his, Bo Cephas, all his rowdy friends and his song is out of here. So then he goes on The View and he tries to explain himself. Um, uh, first though, he, uh, uh, he'll defend uh, his analogy as he discusses uh, the term analogy with uh, Sherry Shepard. ESPN, they, they, you, you know, they say they don't want the politics in the sport. So you, you, you can understand it's, it's mm -hmm. just a, it's a hot yeah. button. So do you understand their policy on this? I absolutely do. And okay. I, let, me, let me tell you the rest of the policy. Oh, All my right. God. Uh, Disney, ABC, and ESPN, and me and the opening of my Monday Night Football are kind of like the Spanish-American War, their history. That was solid. Yeah, there you go. That was uh, he, that, earlier. It was actually the wrong clip, but uh, we you got the idea. First, he defended. He had Sherry Shepard look up what analogy meant. Then, as Sherry tried to press him further uh, on it, he decided to make his Spanish American War analogy, which I think we all completely understood, especially in answer to Sherry Shepard's question of did he understand what ESPN was doing, not mixing sports and politics, the way we do here at TYT Sports. Um, then Barbara goes after him. Uh, I think this is clip four. Barbara uh, asking him uh, about uh, freedom of speech, and Hank explains. But how were you misunderstood? Uh, I guess it's called stepping on the toes of freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. But ESPN says you can have freedom of speech, but you have to bear the consequences. Well, that's all, that's good. I applaud them. That's their freedom of speech. You know, I just. This guy is such a moron, man. <laughs> what is with this guy? Uh, and then, as we alluded to, uh, clip five, this was his decision and his decision alone. Was it indeed your decision to take the song off? On Tuesday, I, that night, I told my manager, I said, you can tell ESPN and Disney adios. Yeah, nobody believes that. Nobody believes that. Uh, and if he had to do it all over again, of course, because he's an idiot, he did the same thing. Do you wish you had used a different analogy at this point? Uh, you know what? At this point, I really don't. At this point, this, you I don't. don't wish you, 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 you're happy that Why? you called him Hitler. No, that I'm not calling him. anybody. No, it's an analogy. Okay. It right. would be nice no, to no, say no, Stalin. Hey, Hank. Stalin? Stalin? And then uh, finally, uh, he quotes uh, none other than uh, uh, the 33rd president of the United States. Harry Truman. I want to I wanna quote Harry Truman. He was in the Rose Garden in 1948. 
He was asked a political question. He said, son, never kick a cow turd on a hot day. <laughs> that is so true. She, that is very true. That is so true. She brought up about stepping in things, brought up stepping. Yeah. The bottom line, folks, is Mickey is a mean mouth. <laughs> And he has he has stepped in to that pile in ESPN, and they're doing this. You know, he, oh gosh, we got to do this. You know, I, this I is like my mouse. Mickey. This one right here. Oh, That's that, my Mickey that. right there. I don't know whether you uh, caught that. Mark is going to have to uh, back that up. He's talking about uh, Disney. Yeah, is Disney, which owns ABC and ESPN. Uh, the evil Mickey, but then uh, when he points to Mickey Mantle, you'll hear uh, laughter from somebody in the audience. Mark, uh, uh, just play the last uh, like uh, five, six seconds of that. Listen carefully to the laughter after he points at his back to the only Mickey that matters to him. One right here. That's my Mickey right there. <laughs> that's right. That's what. Uh, I don't know, man. He's got a cry. You know, he got some laughs on Fox and Friends from the crew too. The crew loves Hank Williams Jr., man. Yeah, because he's a moron. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Nothing? Great. Subscribe to TYT Sports.